Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and in today's video I want to talk about what's in my shower hair product edition. So I do a lot of talking of, I mean I do a lot of talking throughout this, you know, through my channel. So I know in those what's in my hair videos that I post, I think the last time I posted that was in February, but I talk about the products that are in my rotation, but in this video I'm going to show you all the product that is in my shower. So this is specifically on shampoo, conditioner, and hair mask, and I'll talk to you about why I use it, when I use it, all that good stuff. So let's just jump in. So at the moment I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six shampoos, and the one that I am using frequently is this one right here, which is the Eco Slate Peppermint Schnapps. And this broke, so I don't know if you can see right here, it's broken. I learned the hard way that it was broken because when I applied it to my hair, it got all over, I got in my eyes, and that was not a good experience. So, yeah, be careful if you break stuff. Little tip. So, what I like about this shampoo is that it is not stripping on my hair. It does a good job of cleaning it and moisturizing it at the same time. I'm able to detangle my hair with it as a shampoo, and I think it's overall a good hair wash. It is on the liquidy side, as you can see, but I like it. Another shampoo that I am using is by Pacifica, which is the Rosemary Purify Invigorating Shampoo. It's good. The conditioner is better, so if you're looking to gain anything from this like invigorating line, I would recommend the conditioner for a fact, like 100%, like I want to get the conditioner again. But this shampoo, you feel a little bit of the mintiness, but it's not too extreme. I'm thinking of adding a little bit more peppermint in it, so it's a little stronger on my scalp. But I'm thinking about that because I don't have it and then I don't have to buy it, but yeah. It's thicker than this one, like this feels like a regular shampoo. And yeah, I don't, it's, it's not bad, it's a shampoo that I am using. So another shampoo that I do have in rotation is by Sultanicals and it is a sprout rice vitamin butter shampoo. If it's like midweek and I'm washing my hair and I don't want to use like a, a clarifying shampoo then I can just use this. It is very moisturizing and non-drying. Another shampoo that I have is this one right here by Flora Curl and it is the cream shampoo. This bottle is very difficult and I mentioned it in the review I have so if you want more details, check out this review. Now with this shampoo, it does have a lather and it does a good job of cleaning the scalp and I just make sure that I follow up with the moisture and conditioner because it's a tad bit drying, but I just apply a good conditioner afterwards. So now I want to mention two shampoos that I'm not really using at the moment. I'm, I don't remember the last time I used it, but I do have it for those times where I'm like, okay, let me try it out again. Now it is by Genitor Beauty and it is Riso's Curl. So they're pretty full at the moment. This is a super fruit antioxidant and this is the hydrating shampoo. I don't, I like to go for like a more clarifying shampoo. I do have like a moisturizing shampoo in the mix as well, but I don't know, like I need to retry these products out again because I forgot what they're like, but I do have them in my shower because i do have to use them so i don't know let me know if you have tried these products out and how you feel about them because i kind of forgot because i don't use it that much but i need to use it i need to stop buying all these new shampoos and finish the shampoos that i do have now let's talk about my favorites which is conditioners i go through conditioners pretty fast because I like to detangle my hair with it and I apply a lot, I'm kind of heavy handed. So my favorite conditioner at the moment is this product right here and this is the Pacifica Invigorating Rosemary Purify Conditioner. I am pretty low on it and I would repurchase it again just because it has a very minty feeling on the scalp. It has some slip, it makes my hair feel very soft when I detangle it. Like I think this is a really good purchase so if you're looking to buy a drugstore conditioner I would recommend this one right here. Next conditioner that I do use at the moment is by Genitor Beauty and it is their moisture resuscitate deep conditioning treatment now you can see the difference between the shampoo looking so brand new it's probably like around here and the conditioner I'm like right here you can see which one I've been reaching out to the most but this is on the thicker side and it just makes my hair feel nice and soft afterwards now I like to use conditioners of course and then sometimes instead of conditioners I will go straight into a hair mask and while I'm in the shower I'll just have a hair mask on so that's what I like to do with this one I will shampoo my hair and then I'll just move on to deep conditioning so that's the deep conditioner I have. Another one that I'm using is by Afro Love and it is the conditioner. So this is a Dominican conditioner and as you can see here I'm like halfway with it and this has a very strong scent so that's what I want to start first. If you don't like heavy scented products then I don't think you're going to really care for this. It lingers a little bit on the hair but when you do apply it initially it has a very strong scent. Like this smells like perfume. Maybe like a little bit of vanilla. I don't know. It smells really good but it when I do apply it, I'm like, wow, this is really strong, but make my hair feel nice and soft afterward. It does not feel dry, so this is another good conditioner. 
and then I have by Floor Curl their cream conditioner and I really like this it's lightweight on the hair it has like a lemongrass scent to it and it just feels nice when I apply it through my hair and then another product that I'm using because I'm trying to use up my hair mask because I have some that I want to try out and before I can open a conditioner I'm trying to use up what I have so what I brought to my shower with me is by Honey's Handmade and it's the Oh Honey Coca Moisture Replenishing Hair Mask now I like it but like it's not one of my favorites so that's why I'm using it as like a regular conditioner because I'm trying to use it up so I can try other things out but it is not bad it has really good ingredients my hair feels nice and soft but I'm I, I'm trying to use it up basically so these are the products that are in my shower and products that I'm reaching out to some of them I forgot so I need to like you know use them up again but pretty much these are the products that I am reaching out to now let me know down below what are some products that are in your shower do you like to use a conditioner or do you like to go straight into hair masking like using a hair mask let me know down below what's in your product stash and if you enjoyed this video let me know and if you're watching it to this point um what can we say leave a bunch of yellow heart emojis down below that way i know you're watching to this point and that is it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys i like none of the videos over and i'm looking at the footage i'm like dang girl this sure is linty you know I, I like to do my little bit of rambles at the end of videos i want to make that a thing let me know if, if you into that oh. what's today today is sunday by the time this video is going to go up, it's going to go up on Saturday, so like a week later. This is the last video idea that I have before I'm like, dang, like, what am I going to do next? Like, I've been on a writer's block. I mentioned that, I think, in another video. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, what videos I can film that doesn't require me washing my hair to do a review. I have products that I, I do want to film a review on, but if I haven't made it clear, I'm trying to use some products up before I open something new because that only makes sense. I have so many products that are like halfway done and I keep opening new products. So I was like, Elizabeth, use what you have first and then you can open up a, a new product to review. So it's almost time for me to review a product. So that's basically what I'm trying to say. But like, I got no video ideas. Like I really don't have, what am I gonna film next week for you guys? What am I gonna film? I don't know man, I might have to film a review. I don't want to because I've been doing so good but like I don't I don't know what to do. And the, you know the reason why I came up with this video, what's in my shower, is I was in the shower. You know when you're in the shower and you do the best thinking? That's what I did. I was like looking at my products and I was like yo I should film a video about my products here in the shower. I talk about products that I use outside the shower but not why not show you guys what I actually have in the shower. So I don't know why I'm talking with this but yeah that's where I did that thinking. So. I might have to try to think about video ideas while I'm in the shower again. Hopefully something pops up. But yeah, if you have any cool ideas, let me know down below. That would be awesome. And let me see what else. What are my plans for tomorrow? So Monday, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. I made a list of what I have to do. I want to get ube ice cream. That's I'm still hunting for that. I'm, I'm not going to go during senior citizen hour. I'm not going to hurt any senior citizens. But I'm going to go to Trader Joe's early in the morning. I need to check on my car battery because my car battery died. Like, yo, you guys, even if you're staying at home, you need to move your car, okay? Start your car, go around the park or something because your car is going to die. And I don't want your car to die because my car battery died. And I'm like, I need to check that out. So I have a list for that. Let me see what else. I need to buy, I've been into, um chai lattes so anthony got from tazo it's like the chai latte mix and then i bought oat milk and mixing those two up is so delicious so if you're into like chai lattes look into that and make yourself some chai latte at home we had to figure out how to make it from tea bags yeah we did i didn't really we i think we needed more tea right like stronger yeah. bags like we had flavor. like two bags so we might do three and i don't want to add too much sugar Oh yeah, because that thing, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I didn't know what to do with my hair today. Which, what's new, man? Since I've been just being at home, it's like I don't even want to do my hair. So I was like, I'm putting it up in a bun. But I was like, how can I spice it up? So I added like a little headband. I like it. It's to the point. Oh, another thing I've been doing lately, I've been going for walks. Like, I am so freaking proud of myself because I'm getting some fresh air. I feel like I was going... I was like in some kind of funk because I've been, you know, I'm working from home and I've just been home all the time. So I've actually been going on walks in the morning. 
just in the morning i've just been going on walks one time a day and i'm trying to make it two times a day so we should go on a walk later today too we did a walk yesterday i went on a walk with anthony and we walked two miles okay elizabeth elizabeth she getting on her fitness two mile walk mm. like running for me like i don't like running and i was thinking like yo when was the last time i ran treadmill and when was that a while ago <laughs> Who has a treadmill? That's the one thing I don't like. I could do whatever kind of exercise, but if I have to run... I, I remember I had a, a one-month Groupon for CrossFit, and that was intense. And I hated running, but at the end of it, like, I was able to tolerate it. So, like, I need to keep... I need to run. I need to do something. I don't know. I just came back to relit my shirt and to kind of talk about what I'm going to do this weekend. So, let me know down below, like, if you have any plans and what are you going to do. I think that's kind of cool. Um, how's your car? Is your car starting? I hope it's starting. Don't let the battery die because we don't want that. I'm going to end the video right here. And I don't know. Maybe I might go for a walk right now. Who knows? But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.